We're going to talk about hemorrhoid remedies. We're going to discuss possible solutions that you have for hemorrhoid remedies. There are some short-term quick relief uh, options for you. One would be to make an ice pack with a soft towel and apply it to your inflamed area. Another option would be to soak in a sitz bath. You will fill the bath with warm water and add baking soda or salt, either one, and that should provide you with some relief as well. Another option would be to grate white radish and mix it with honey. You can apply this two times daily to your inflamed area also. There are a few other options for short-term quick relief remedies. One would be to dry mango seeds and ground them up. Another option would be to mix one teaspoon of flowers of sulfur and Vaseline together and then apply that to the inflamed area three times daily. You can also apply aloe vera to the inflamed or irritated area. Unfortunately, most of these are topical solutions which can be pretty messy. They can also be very time consuming and inconvenient to apply as you're running around throughout your daily activities. Um, but the bottom line is they will provide you with some relief. So um, these are some options. Unfortunately, most of these ingredients are not normal things to find around the house, so you will need to do some shopping. Uh, but when it comes to needing some relief, most people will try anything. Um, now there are some options for a long-term, more lasting relief or remedy for you. Um, there are some herbal ingredients I'd like to recommend. Witch hazel is really good for relieving inflammation, and that is a something that you could take internally or just apply to the inflamed area. But in order to make it long term or lasting, you'll want to take it internally so that you can actually heal what is actually going wrong with you on the inside. You'll want to get a hold of these causes of your problem and get rid of the causes and that way you shouldn't have to continuously apply anything because if you get rid of the cause, the symptoms will go away as well. White oak bark is another option uh, that strengthens veins and helps to stop bleeding. Butcher's broom is another herb that is well known for improving the circulatory system. Your circulatory system plays a huge role in the development of hemorrhoids. If your blood's not circulating correctly, it's not circulating your waste out and it's not circulating your nutrition to where it needs to go. So that's definitely something you'll want to think about. There are a few more herbs I would recommend. Stone root is uh, not as popular as many, but it's a wonderful vein strengthener. Ginger is a spice, you've probably heard of it, but it's used as a natural cleanser of both your blood and your bowels, which is a really big deal for healing hemorrhoids and getting your long-term lasting relief. Cayenne's probably the most important ingredient I would recommend. It helps with circulation, it's a natural cleanser, and more importantly, it acts as a catalyst for nutrition. Many people take nutrition supplements and they don't get a lot of benefits out of them but the problem is their bodies are not able to absorb the nutrition before it passes through. So the good thing about cayenne is that it acts as a catalyst and helps your body to absorb the nutrition so you can get the most out of it. There is a remedy that includes all of those long-term herbs and it's called hemorrhoid hairy. You can find this at www.hemorrhoidhairy.com Again, www.hemroidharry.com. You can get more information about this long-term, safe, effective, and proven remedy, which contains all of those ingredients that I just previously mentioned, at hemorrhoidhairy.com. So go check it out, and it should be able to help you with your situation. Best of luck.